Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Truman Martin, Maranatha Worship Center Church, Dayton, Ohio. I am the oldest nephew of Bishop P.E. Bryant. I am the firstborn of his oldest sister, Ermie B. Bryant Martin. It is my pleasure to share in the celebration of Bishop P.E. Bryant's elevation to the general board of the Church of God in Christ. It is not often that one would ascend to such an high office in the body of Christ unless God is with him. As I reflect on our past, I remember how good God has been to you and our family. So I rejoice in God's divine promotion in your life. Your promotion gives us hope in this now generation and in generations in our family yet unborn. The goodness of God has been manifested in your life. And I will say to you, God has done exceedingly and abundantly more than you have asked or think. And that is because of the faith that abided in you. You are certainly a man of faith and unshakable confidence in the testimony of God. As you know, Bishop Bryant, I used to spend the summers with you in the country. That was the joy of my life, going to the cotton fields, picking up watermelons and putting them on the sled, going to get the cows from the pastors and riding in the back of that pickup truck where you learned how to drive, sitting in Papa's lap. And I know where God has brought you from. And someone says that God has brought us from the Consacks to Cadillacs. From the Congen to the Mercedes Benz, what an incredible journey, Bishop Bryant. But on a more serious note, but when you gave your life to Christ, God saved you and baptized you in the Holy Ghost. What an incredible experience. Uh, you uh, abandoned everything that the church says that was worldly. You gave up sports. You were an all-state basketball player, an all-star pitcher, a guy could you really pitch. I could never hit your balls. But your coaches couldn't convince you to play and even his begging and crying because the team needed you. But you came to understand that the kingdom of God needed you more. And I had the opportunity over the years to observe your growth years ago back in the 60s. And I was in school. Uh, as you began, began your walk of faith, God placed destiny in your life. God revealed his purpose for you. And he gave you multiple dreams and visions. You have overcome many obstacles and setbacks. You've been a great example of courage uh, to many of us. You are living out your calling your role in the earth that God has called you to before you were bombed or formed in your mother's womb. Psalm 78 verses 70 through 72 is an example of how God can use a man, how God chose David from following sheep to leading his people Israel. The Bible says David fed them according to the integrity of his heart and the skillfulness of his hands. And we have seen this evident in your life, Bishop Bryant. Uh, God has done many wonderful things for you. This word has been fulfilled in your life. And I thank God for you. Continue to walk in faith, unshakable confidence in the testimony of God. Be guided by his grace, the omnipotent power of God, my uncle and bishop, working on your behalf continue your great work the church needs you your family needs you may god bless you with a long prosperous and healthy life now my brother go with god and god will go with you be blessed much love truman l martin dayton ohio